In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top five weirdest and goofiest unicycle tricks. So the tricks on this list either consist of one of these three things or a combination of all three. A, the tricks are really uncommon and there's not really a lot of use of them in unicycling. B, the tricks don't look aesthetically pleasing. They're, they're either really ugly looking or, or not that great looking. And C, they're really awkward tricks to perform. So for the rider that's doing them, it's, it doesn't feel very good to do these tricks. So let's hop right into this top five list. So starting off with number one on this list, we have the free flip. Now free flip is exactly the same as a crank flip, except you're doing it without hands. So you're kicking the cranks to do a full revolution, except you're not holding onto the handle or the saddle. You're just clutching it really hard with your thighs and somehow flipping it. Now the big thing going for this trick is that it looks kind of awkward. So aesthetically, it looks weird because you can tell that the person's legs are clamped super hard on the saddle and it just doesn't look super natural. And not to mention, it's also really awkward for street, so it doesn't really get a lot of use. Because you're doing drops and stuff, it's nice to be able to stand up and just absorb the impact with your knees. But with a free flip, if you're gonna ever do a drop, you're kind of just going to be sitting on the seat and there's going to be no room to absorb an impact. So this trick is supposedly really painful to do off of ledges, which makes it not very popular in the street setting either. I will admit guilty pleasure. It is kind of a fun trick to do, but only in small amounts. <laughs> And now guys for the second trick on this list and that trick is the moon jump now the moon jump i think was originally made as kind of like a joke trick or what we call in unicycling a goon trick if you're familiar with unicycling or you know enough about unicycling and you're kind of like an intermediate level unicyclist you kind of know that this trick is a pretty easy one this trick is one of the goofier weirder tricks more based on tradition just because i think it got kind of a goofy start to it with pretty good channel kind of making fun of it and then other people kind of doing funny things with moon jumps unlike traditional foot plant tricks moon jumps instead of putting one foot on the ground you're hopping off entirely and putting both feet on the ground and you're usually not even bringing the unicycle up off the ground which takes away from the more aesthetically pleasing kind of element of coming off the ground with your unicycle. A lot of people just kind of goof around with it and they kind of just camp out. So instead of hopping back on right away, you can kind of just chill out and wait until you feel like hopping back on. <laughs> All right, guys, and now for number three, we got pedal flips. Pedal flips are basically any kind of trick where you're flipping just the pedal. Yes, so that just the pedal is rotating. I think this is kind of a goofy, weird trick because it's not a very noticeable trick. It can kind of go unnoticed. It, it's not explosive, it's not big. Even unicyclists might not even be able to tell that you've done a pedal flip. And a lot of times your pedals just tend to flip accidentally while you're doing tricks or while you're riding anyways. So it, it's kind of a redundant, pointless trick. Not to mention pedal flips are just kind of funny looking, like especially when you're doing hop on tire and then you reach down and you give your pedal a little smack. You can see this in videos like the one that my girlfriend made where her and Greta Kaler did pedal flips in their videos and a lot of other meme unicycling tricks. And if you guys want to go check that video out and you want to see some weird or goony unicycle tricks, that's a really good video to reference. So I'll put a link up here in one of these corners and in the description. And second to last on this list, we got the two foot scuff coast. Now you might remember this trick from my past video on manual tricks in unicycling. Uh, it's basically a video where I asked the question, can you manual on a unicycle? And in there I did this coast. Two foot scuffs are really uncommon in unicycling and they're uncommon for a reason. The air humping motion that you kind of had to do with two foot scuff coasts just looks kind of weird and a little foreign. I mean, it's a air humping motion, right? And for somebody who does this trick occasionally for fun, it, it doesn't feel good to do the trick itself. And on top of that, it, it, I, and this is my personal opinion, I don't really think the trick looks that great, which is why Two Foot Scuff Coast is on this list in the number four position. And now for the final trick on this list, we got the foot plants. This is just any foot plant. Now I personally don't agree with this one, but I know a lot of street riders who joke around and seem to not really like the foot plant and I can kind of see why. Foot plants I think can look really nice aesthetically, but the problem is, is it's hard to do them nice. Especially when you're starting out and you're a beginner, a lot of your foot plants, you'll just kind of be camping out and instead of it being a fast flowy thing, people's first foot plants usually look kind of sloppy and they can be really hard to flow 
when you're beginning. There's also kind of like this tradition or this old style of just don't plant your feet on the ground, don't touch the ground at all, which kind of lands this trick in a goofy or weird trick for some people. Now, as you can tell in maybe one of my previous videos, foot plants and fast plants are personally my favorites. So I can kind of see where people get this one from. Personally, I love foot plants, but if you're not doing them flowy or smooth, they could maybe look a little sloppy and a little silly. So that's my quick top five for this video. Hope you guys really liked it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and it really helps me grow as a content creator and push these videos out to more people. All right, I'll see you guys in next week's video. Thank you so much. Peace.